All right, welcome everybody to our instructional video on the, the new, uh, what they're calling in the field, the K6. So this is your Milwaukee battery powered cutoff saw. It's gonna be issued to all the rescues in a short amount of time. So it'll give the rescues a little more options uh, when it comes to forcible entry at different, uh, different operations. So we're gonna go over some of the features on the saw. We're gonna go over a battery change. We'll go over a blade change. All the stuff we're going over in the video is on the PowerPoint that's also available on, the, on Target Solution. All right. So again, battery powered saw using the M18 battery system from Milwaukee. The battery is 18 volts and 12 amp hour. It's stamped right on the battery. So this is the only battery authorized for use with the saw. So make sure you have plenty of them. We recommended four batteries per unit. So you have one in the charger at the station and three available on the unit for your use. The batteries all have a battery power indicator. So make sure before you install the battery that you got four lights, so that lets you know that you got a full, fully charged battery. We'll go over a battery swap here in a second. A couple other features that are on the saw. It is plastic, but it's pretty rigorous. We did some pretty good R&D on the saw, and we didn't have any issues with the case or the construction of the saw. Operating switch here at the back. There is a safety latch on here that you have to engage for the, the, uh, the switch to operate. So it's kind of a safety system. The handle here area, more than large enough to work with, uh, with your bunker gloves. So it's very applicable to what we do. There's a rubber hose that comes in along the saw here. This saw was really designed to cut concrete. So that's what the water's for. We're not gonna use that in this application. So you can just disregard that that's there. Blade cover is adjustable without having to need any tools. So you adjust it as you see fit. You can swap the blade out no matter what position the blade guard is in. Uh, other options here at the, at the base of the saw, you have all the tools necessary to change the blade out. You've got a wrench that's mounted at the bottom of the handle and you've got a small hex key here mounted on the side. So that's where all, your, all the tools you need to do anything with the saw are on the saw itself. Right? The blade that's gonna be issued with the units is a diamond encrusted blade that's specifically designed to cut through steel. We've done a lot of different types of cutting. The saw is very capable. On the PowerPoint, you'll have all the different types of cuts that we made and some tips on how to, how to get those cuts done properly. All right. Specifications on the saw, the depth of cut is only three and a half inches, so that's not very deep as compared to the K12. So just make sure that before you start your cut, you know exactly the thickness of the material you're going through so that you have one good efficient cut. As far as cut time, we were able to do an entire door, an entire window of security bars on one battery and only lost two lights out of the battery charge. So the batteries are more than capable of powering the saw through just about anything you're gonna use the saw for. So let's go through a battery swap. So your battery compartment's got a small latch here on the side, All right? just opens up. There's your battery compartment. The battery compartment door, relatively fragile, so just make sure that you don't drop the saw or anything as you're putting the battery in. All right? Select your battery, battery goes pins down. All right? When you slide the battery in, just be careful that you don't bend any of the battery pins as, you, as you're putting the, the tool together. You should hear a positive click indicating that the battery is locked in place. To remove the battery, you're gonna squeeze the, the red pins and the battery should slide out easily, right? If you do a lot of repeated cutting, a lot of heavy steel cutting, the batteries will overheat before they run out of a charge. The, the indicator lights will here will be flashing on and off indicating that the battery is overheated. So just make sure that you know what you're cutting, that your cut's gonna be relatively short so you don't run into that issue. If you have multiple batteries, that'll help you get through those moments so that if a battery overheats, you can just swap it for a fresh battery. Close the compartment. So let's go through a, a blade change. So before I do the blade change, make sure that the battery's out of the saw so there's no chance of activating the saw. I'm gonna remove the tools that are necessary to change the blade, which is my, my hex key and my blade wrench here. So on this side of the saw, right up at the top of the arm here, there's a small hole. That hole is for your hex key. That's gonna lock the arbor, basically keep the blade from rotating while we do a blade change. Once you've got that arbor locked, then you're gonna take your wrench and you're gonna undo your, undo your, your uh, bolt here. There's a cover plate just below the bolt. Move, remove the cover plate and you should be able to remove your blade, okay? So when you're reinstalling your blade, all these blades are directional in nature. So make sure that you're installing the blade in the proper direction. Looking at the saw from the camera angle, this saw rotates counterclockwise. So make sure that that arrow is pointing in the right direction when you install your, your blade. So to reinstall your blade, just slide it up onto the arbor, just like that. You're gonna put your cover plate back on. 
And then you're gonna hand thread the bolt until the bolt makes contact. At that point, you're gonna re-engage that arbor lock. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna go ahead and re-tighten your blade. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. When you tighten this blade, it should be a little more than hand tight. There's a lot of vibrations in this saw that can ca cause that bolt to come loose. So just make sure that you've tightened it properly. Once you're done, make sure that the tools are put back into the body of the saw so you have them available for you the next time you change a blade. The blades are pretty resilient. All the cutting that we were doing here in training, we did with one blade, never lost any kind of sharpness or any of the teeth, so the blades are quite resilient. Right? So there's your, there's your blade change, all right? Last couple of features on the saw, up at the top you've got a small indicator LED. That light is there to indicate that you're starting to bog the saw down. So when the saw gets somewhere below its top RPMs, that light will go off indicating to the user that you gotta reposition the saw so you can continue to, your, to continue your cut. So just make sure you're paying attention to that. This, cut, this saw will cut overhead, below grade, wherever you want it. No gasoline necessary, no fumes. Uh, quick to start up, so you can see some of the benefits of this saw over, let's say, a, a gas-powered saw. What this saw doesn't have is a lot of torque, so you have to maintain the blade speed in order to get a good cut, or to maintain a good cut, so make sure that you're not letting the saw bog down in material and things like that, all right? Depth of the blade, three and a half inches, so just again, size up the material you're cutting to make sure that you can cut through it with one pass. Um, let me just check my notes here real quick. In the kit, you have the instruction manual. So before you use a saw, make sure you read that instruction manual to go over all the things that we went over and gives you a little more idea of the capabilities of the saw. Uh, once you're done with the presentation here, go ahead and stay on Target Solutions, take a look at your uh, PowerPoint to go review some of the ways that the saw will be, is recommended for use. So thank you very much.